Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from PhoneBunch and today we will be benchmarking the Macromax Canvas Elanza A93 which is available in the market for about 8900 rupees right now. First let's have a look at the hardware specifications. You can see that it's the Macromax A93 and it's running on the MP6572 based chipset from MediaTek. It's a dual core chipset and running on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, which you can see in the OS version. You have a 540 by 960 pixels 5 inch display as well. That's QHD resolution. Coming to system, you have a dual core processor clocked at 1300 megahertz. And the graphics are powered by Mali 400 MP GPU, which is supported by OpenGL specification 2.0. Coming to memory, you have 974 MB of RAM that's available out of 1 GB. At present, 463 MB is free. You have 1.3 GB of internal storage, out of which 916 MB is free right now. And apps are movable to the SD card. You have a 5 megapixel autofocus primary camera with a single LED flash which is capable of 720p video recording which you can see from right there and you also have a VGA front facing camera that's 0.3 megapixels. Coming to the battery you have a 1950 mAh battery which should last for about a day we'll check that out later. In terms of sensors you have an accelerometer a proximity sensor and a light sensor. You can see that the proximity and light sensors are working fine. You also have a small notification LED up top. Now let's begin with the benchmarks. First we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the final results quickly. The scores I have loaded up. So we got a score of 10738 which is actually not that bad and it's quite close to the scores of the Micromax Canvas Fun A74 with the same processor but 512 MB of RAM. Now we are going to run the Quadrant Benchmark. Let's submit the scores to get a comparison chart going. So we got a score of 3213. It's quite comparable to the scores of the Micromax Canvas Fun A74 but if we talk about price point, it's quite a bit lower than the Zolo Q1000 Opus which has a quad core processor. Now we will run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess of the device and give us a frame rate. So we got a score of 35.7 FPS which is actually quite disappointing. But we will have a look at it when we do our gaming review. Now we are also running the AM22 3D rating benchmark here. We got a score of 1793 which is again comparable to the Canvas Fun A74 which played games quite well but had limited RAM. Now we are running the Linpack benchmark. So we got a score of 59 on the single thread benchmark. The multi-thread benchmark, it's inconsistent. We will run that again. So we got a score of 88 this time around. These scores are again comparable to the MP6572 chipset in other smartphones as well. Here's Velamo. We are running the HTML5 chapter with Sun Spider and VH Benchmark suit as well. So we got a score of 1673, which is a very respectable score. And it's actually higher than both the Canvas Fun A74 as well as the Zolo Q1000 Opus. And that's actually because of the 1 GB RAM that's available. Now we are going to run the metal chapter of Velamo. It basically tests the CPU of the device. So we got a metal score of 478 which is comparable to both the Canvas Fun A74 as well as the Q1000 Opus and you can see it's just below the Samsung Galaxy S3. So really great scores there. Now we are going to do the multi-touch test of the display. So I have four fingers and can detect all four and now five fingers. I have six fingers on the display and only five are detected. So it's a five point multi-touch display which is actually a very good thing to see at this price point. The benchmarks of the Canvas Elanza do prove that it's a decent performer at this price range. It has good build quality, it has matte exteriors, both front and back, and the silver accents do give a sort of elegance to the device. But the display here is really finicky, everything looks oversaturated because of the high contrast ratio and the text appears pixelated. Well that was the benchmarking review of the Canvas Elanza. You can watch its unboxing from right here as well as the unboxing of the Moto G and its KitKat Android 4.4.2 update as well. We'll be back with lots more. Don't forget to subscribe. This was Abhinav Patak signing off. 
Thank you and have a really great day.